there have been some very serious allegations uh, coming out recently about me um, that I think I need to address. Uh, allegations that I've, that I've stolen music, uh, plagiarized songs, and passed them off as my own creation. Um, and uh, I, I've, been, I've been hesitant to make this video, and I know that, uh, for multiple reasons. I mean, this video is going to be shameful and embarrassing for me to make. But um, I, I hope that by the end of it, I can at least give my side of the story. So please just hear me out and bear with me. Thank you. You hear that? That sweet, sweet background music? That slapping bass line and smooth drum beat? That groovy piano? Yeah, everyone who's ever watched my channel has heard this jam before. I mean, it's in all my videos. It's practically my song. So, I was a little bit confused and infuriated whenever I heard this. Uh, not too long ago, you know, I think it was last year, a Rusty Cage came to visit me at my house. So, I play him my song that I made, and you might have heard it before, it goes a little something like uh, this. So of course, Rusty starts using my song in every single one of his videos. And wouldn't you know, oh, I checked that description, Rust. Uh, my name is nowhere. No credit, nothing, absolutely nothing. But then, Rusty goes on his second channel, Rusty Cage 2, and posts my song with the title Rusty Cage Background Music. That's right, the liar known as Simeon Jimmy is claiming that this background music is actually his song, his original creation, and that I actually stole it from him, me, world famous musician, Rusty Cage, stealing music? I say nay, sir or ma'am. Not only did I not steal this music, I will be exposing several very prominent YouTubers who have, for a fact, stolen this background music from me. Oh yeah, Simeon Jimmy, AKA Monkey Jones. Yeah, that is his real name. I got proof, proof that I am the true creator of this music. I got the project files. I got the screenshots of you DMing me, begging me to let you use this song. Oh yeah, and I keep all of my receipts. So let's hear that song one more time. Really, really let it sink into your ears. And now, when I snap my fingers, you will instantly be transported into another video. Are you ready? There was a lesson this is a recent video by Justin Wang, which I actually <laughs> featured in, briefly. I've been deceived. And this background music? And now the hmm, we well, kind of sounds familiar. I wonder who made it. Let's just check the description and... What the fuck? Music and performance by Simeon Jimmy? Thank you to Simeon Jimmy for letting me use his song. Wait, Wang, no, this is my background music. I made this song, I swear I did. Well, maybe he just made a mistake. Uh, let's try another video. Okay, right, here we are again. Welcome Same song, my song, to in a video by Emperor Lemon. You see what I'm saying? All of these YouTubers are stealing my music. But I'm a personal friend of Emp Lemon, so surely he would credit me in the... No, no, no it can't be! Simeon Jimmy? No! I made this song! Me! Ah uh, yes, Bedhead Burn, another world famous YouTuber, and also if you listen Thomas closely, searched, the amount injected, 225 milligrams, was over a massive music thief. Nah, nah, I'm joking. I don't mind if other people use my music in their videos, as long as they put in a description that it's my song. <laughs> Bernie, no. Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Reactor, and today we're gonna be going over a tier list where I rank all of my videos. There's actually some missing because I couldn't fit all of them on this board. This, this is not looking good for me. I know that, but you, you have to believe me. I am not the one stealing the music here and I can prove it. Reactor personally asked me if he could use my music in his video and being the good guy that I am, I said yes. See, I even have the DMs, just look. I, 
I'm living in the Bearstein universe. It's the Mandela effect, an alternate reality. I made this song. It's my background music. It's mine. This must be some kind of conspiracy against me to ruin my reputation. Wait, I know that I can prove this. I used this song in my own videos years before I even knew who Monkey was. Oh yes, yes, I got you now. Bibbidi bobbidi boo. I'll be at a bar or something and see someone that I know after they leave the bathroom. They come up to me to shake my hand, but I'll yes, the bathroom yes, the yes. See, Here, here's a video of mine from 2016, job, I mean, a whole year before I even knew who Monkey was. Weird. And Especially what do you know? Like <laughs> this can't be happening. Somehow I ended up in a, a parallel universe, an altered timeline where in this version of 2019, Simeon Jimmy is the creator of this background music and not me. I must go back. I gotta reverse time and figure out a way to slip into the real 2019. Well, I'm sure glad that I bought this time machine off Amazon a few weeks ago. And now it's time to go back into the past and make things right. And we're back, or so I think. If this worked, then we should be in the original 2019. But there's only one way to know for sure. If I possess the original project file for the song, then I'll have proof. Yes, yes, I think it worked. You see, this is the original Logic project file for my background music. Proof that I made the song. Not Simeon Jimmy, not Emperor Lemon, not Reactor, not any of those other people. Me, Rusty Cage. And I did it all on my own. Well, okay. I guess I have to admit the truth here. And the truth is that while I did create this background music and thought it was all original, I realized later that I had actually recreated a song that I would heard years ago and completely forgotten about. You see, back in 2001, Adult Swim had a television promo and as you can hear, that piano riff is nearly identical to the one that I used. And honestly, I didn't even realize that I was reusing an old riff. This is a problem with music. Uh, you think that you're coming up with an original melody or riff, uh, but then you realize that it's actually from a song that you heard years in the past. But that's not all. If you listen to this part of the song, It's actually just a modified version of A Better Tomorrow by Dan the Automator. Which, if we take it even further, Dan the Automator actually took that riff from Herbie Hancock's soundtrack for the movie Death Wish. So I guess technically you could say that yes, this background music is stolen. Well, I guess what we can learn from all of this is that music builds upon older music, sometimes through slight modification and sometimes through direct plagiarism. And as time goes on, the chances of being able to create an original melody that has never been done before grows slimmer and slimmer. Honestly, I didn't think too much about it when I was creating this background music because, well, it's just background music. And I just needed something to play in the videos behind me talking to help the video flow better. And there's something about this particular song that just really works, which is why I let all these other YouTubers use it in their videos. I actually uploaded this song to my second channel, so if any of you want to use it in the background of your videos, feel free to. All I ask is that you credit me. Me! Not Simeon Jimmy. Me! In fact, if you think that this is all bullshit and that Simeon Jimmy really is the one who created this background music, then I offer this challenge to you, Simeon Jimmy. If you're so talented at making music, I want to see a video of you recreating this song. With all of your music talent, I'm sure it will be no problem. But of course, we know what's really going to happen. He's going to clam up like he always does. Go back into hiding. What a hack. Thank you to Rusty Cage for letting me use his song. I want to give a huge thank you to everyone who supports this channel on Patreon.
Also, big news. I'm about to launch my second Indiegogo campaign for Requiem of the Crazies Part 2, my comic book about bums. The campaign itself is launching in just about a week, so if you're interested in contributing to the campaign, follow the link in the description and check out the campaign, sign up, and stay tuned for the official launch, which I'll be announcing in the next video. The first campaign was a huge success, so I hope that we can do the same with the second issue.